Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Okay, so I had some comments about people being interested in Canva. So I'm gonna do a full-blown tutorial on Canva on the potato chip bag, because one project at a time, we can't overload. <laughs> um, so this is the one. The reason why I went to Canva is because if you look at this, this is an eight and a half by 11 photo sheet, right? It's through my Amazon shop, so you can go on there and find it. Um, there is a category specifically for potato chip bag. Now, the reason why I didn't do in design space is because if you look at this, it's, you know, a cover, right? And then on the back side, it's basically two panels, right? It's an eight and a half um, by 11 sheet folded in. And that's what you're seeing here is it's folded in on the two sides and it's um, glued right here. So the problem with doing it in design space is you would lose out on a lot of space because you need this to be centered and then the two side panels on the front sheet, right, that will fold over. Um, you can only do print and cut 6.75 by nine and a quarter and my sheet is eight and a half by 11. So you're gonna miss out on a lot of space. So let's do it in Canva. All right, so Canva can be free. Um, I do have a paid account, so, um, but I think what I'm doing is fairly simple. So I'm hoping that you don't, you'll be able to use this for free um, and still be able to do this. All right, so first thing is we're just gonna go into create a design. But before I do that, if you look, if you search Canva up here, well, actually, let's just search Canva really quickly. I'm going to do, uh, let's do a summer one. I'm just going to type in summer because I'm still learning Canva. I've been using Canva for a few months now. I love it for my um, YouTube thumbnails. I love it for my Instagram stories, sometimes my Instagram posts. So you saw, I just typed in summer, but look at all these layouts that I would not be able to create on my own, right? So if you, for instance, like this one, you can plop in your colors and then what's nice is it usually gives you a series. So this is like seven of them, right? So they all kind of look of the same theme, but if you were doing multiple posts or something like that, it would really give you a cohesive look. Um, I mean, just the fonts, the colors, I really, really like it. So, um, oh my gosh, how cute is this little thing? Um, I'm gonna have to come back and type in summer again, but let's go and create a design. So what would you like to create? I am really about my size. I wanna put in my size of paper, so it's 11 by 8.5, and I wanna change this to inches. So it reformats, so I gotta go back. I should have changed the size first. So go to your pick list, put in inches, put in 11, 8.5. Same thing as design space, we need to unlock it because our size is different. The width is different from the height. So create new design, it's gonna give us a blank page. Now, what I really liked about this chip bag was this was an accident, the white against the blue, because I must have done that, and but I wasn't paying attention. So what happened was I thought I was doing 11 by eight, eight and a half by 11, but I didn't. So it, it printed out to what I thought was the full page, but it wasn't, so it left the white but I like it. So we're gonna recreate it, doing it the proper way, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so first thing is, I'm gonna go into elements. Elements is like images, so you can search for flowers, squares, circles, it gives you everything. But the most basic is just your square, right? So I'm gonna drop it, so you click on it, it drops in your thing, and you can see my grid line. So this is 11 inches, running across and then running down is eight and a half inches. Okay, so I'm gonna move my little square. I want it to be an inch from the top. It's gonna be white and a, about a quarter of an inch from, I want this to be a quarter of an inch. So that kind of gives me a nice little line down the middle. Um, I'm gonna pull this down to seven and a half inches because I want an inch from the top and bottom, I'm gonna move this over to a quarter of an inch, which I think is here-ish. 
right? Because that's half an inch. So it should be in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so it should be actually in the middle of these two. Sorry, I'm like squinting. I really think I need new contacts. <laughs> All right, so that's about it, right? So when you click on this square, you can click on this and you can change your color. I really love the way this looks. So I'm gonna keep it for now, okay? So we have our white. Now, if you want to go get some designs, like I'm going to, um, let's just do some fun stuff. So since you can see my screen, let's go to Google. And I'm gonna do, um, let's do, I did Hello Kitty one time, but let's do Hello Kitty images. All right, so let's, oops, yeah, so I'm in images. I kinda like, um, I like this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and bring up my snipping tool. Okay, so that lets me take screenshots, right? So here is my little guy over here. I'm gonna click on new, I want a new screenshot and I'm getting this right here. Okay, oops, I'm gonna save as. Okay, so I like to do a lot of Hello Kitty. <laughs> okay, back to our design. We're gonna go into uploads. Now, a couple, I mean, Canva, it makes it so, so you know I'm not really good at design apps. Um, so you can see these are for my YouTube tutorials. I've been taking pictures, but you can upload your Instagram pictures. It takes, if you do a carousel, which is like multiple images, it will only download your first image but I mean still. Um, so there's a lot of things that you could do here, but we're gonna upload media from my device and I'm gonna go to pictures and find my little Hello Kitty. <clears throat> and it's this one, cause I want the full body. I'm gonna click open and it's gonna prep itself a drop in here. So once it's done, I'm gonna click on it and it will pop into our image. So I clicked on it. Now, you can go into effects, and I'm still learning this. I mean, I'm kind of learning as I go along. I haven't played around with it a lot, just enough so that I can move along and make my, you know, my social media look good, or uh, much better. I shouldn't say it looks good. I have a lot to work on. But uh, let's click background remover. <clears throat> and it should just get rid of the purple, I mean the, the peachy color, peachy pink. And I don't have any like real measurements yet of like, look at how cool that is, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, but the way that I've been eyeing this is, we know that right down the middle of this is gonna literally be right down the middle of our bag because we're gonna fold the sides in so our, uh, the nutrition label, if you like it, because I see that on a lot of people's designs, um, you know, you'll put it closer to the side. And then you can still have another message over here because when we fold it in, you're gonna have two panels, right? They're gonna be smaller, but you still have room. So over here, I put like, thanks for coming or whatever it is. So let's move our little Hello Kitty to, and see like the grid lines kind of pop up so you know what's centered. So I'm gonna leave it there. Now let's go to text. I love text because they give you font combinations as well. So you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. Sometimes you can change the colors. Um, I would say most of the time you can change the colors, but what is super cool is just the fact that they, that they give you a combination. Like I know uh, from tips, right? Just from surfing through all of my social media accounts and um, looking at others, people always recommend two fonts, three fonts max, right? You, If you're gonna do a cursive, you also want like a print one, right? Like, hello, darling. Like, that's just such a great combination. 
or look at this cue the confetti it's so stinking cute right but things that i wouldn't naturally i don't know i would have tried to do this but it, i don't know if i would have picked the cutest font all right so i brought it in okay so um you know let's say we do happy uh why isn't it typing oh there there we go happy birthday and don't worry like we you know this is too much right so all you do is you click on it and we're going to change the font size so let's get it to maybe 42 and see what that looks like right not bad so we want that or we could do this hit enter right so it's centered for you and then let's say this is i'm going to do charlotte I don't know why it's today it's not working as well for me but that's okay all right so we can um, ungroup this because right now it's together right so for Charlotte I definitely need to make it smaller because remember it wraps so our thing wraps around I'm gonna change this to maybe 40 just to get a feel for oh that's way too small okay I'm going to click and maybe do 80. Okay, 80 looks good. And what's cool is when you go to change the text color, it also gives you the colors that are currently being used. So like Hello Kitty comes in, right? And it just gives you so that you can match the color. I mean, it's, I don't know. I just, I love it. <laughs> right, you could do something like this. This can go up here. And maybe this one, you want it to be uh, white. Let's see what it looks like. Happy birthday, Charlotte. That looks kind of cute, right? Um, and then we could do, um, we can keep it the same. You can do the same type of font over here, right? If, if you are already using these two fonts, you could just easily go to um, scroll back up to text. And you can just add a heading and it will start. So here we could say, you know, thanks for coming. Um, and then you can change that. You can change the text to so many different things, right? But I'm gonna just do this one. And then see what that looks like. Oh, that looks horrible. Um, Oh, that's the same one. I wanted something cute. Let's see how that looks. Uh, I don't like that either, but we're not, um, we're just, oops, hold on, let me. make that smaller because we need it to be on the panel. We don't want it to see it at all on the front, right? So maybe make that 30. Oops. So I guess I only had the bottom part highlighted. So if I click again on the whole box, then I can change it to 30. Okay. And then you can rotate a little bit, right? Just so that it doesn't have to be straight. Thanks for coming. Um, I can't bold it, but okay. So let's say we like that. Let's bring in the nutrition label, right? So let's go back to images and let's say it's a Doritos single snack serving label. Well, a single, single snack serving label. Let's see if that comes up. Okay, I'm gonna go Maybe this one, let's see what that one says. Oh yeah, serving size one package, okay. So, go back to my snipping tool. I'm gonna do new, and I'm gonna get this. Right? Save as Doritos. Okay, as you can see, I've been working on these, so I'm gonna do a second one so that you 
we're starting this from scratch, I want to make sure that you know how to do it. Let's go to uploads and upload media device and go find your file. So And this one, because we snipped it perfectly, we don't have to do any editing, right? So uh, let's see, is it gonna pop up? Okay, here we go. So you can make this smaller. Maybe size it like this. I don't know where you, let me see where I put it online. Oh, I put it kind of high up, can you see it? So maybe like right around there. I'm gonna put it closer to here because I don't want it to pop, you know, in the middle at all. Um, you know, thanks for coming. Um, or I don't know, you could do whatever. But you can see how this is. We can put in more images, but that's it. And then you go to download. You're gonna download it as a, well, let's do it. Um, you can download it as a PNG. It doesn't really matter. I, I just download it and then once it's downloaded, I'm going to go to print it. Now when you're printing, you want to make sure, so let's open it so you can see it. Um, okay, so here I'm going to click on print, right? And for me, this is how I do it. I make sure that everywhere that I can set my printer, it's set to the best setting. Um, so this is already at glossy paper, so perfect. So here it's good, it's gonna print out like this. I'm good with this. So I don't wanna hit print yet. I'm gonna go to my actual printer settings and open. and it's the workforce. So I'm gonna click on this and I wanna manage. I wanna make sure that everything is set properly. So I'm gonna to go to printer properties. And here I'm always fooling around. I'm just clicking on tabs to make sure. So I wanna to go to advanced. Let's see, anything here? Oh yeah, let's go to printing defaults. I wanna make sure, let's see, paper quality. Okay not plain paper, this is photo paper high gloss. I want color, let's see if there's anything else in advanced. In advanced, you wanna make sure the print quality is six at the highest. Your output quality, you also want high, right? Not normal, but high quality. Here, like anywhere that you have a choice, you wanna make it a lot better, the best. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna click on okay, apply, okay. Okay, so I'm done setting that up. I'm done with here. I'm going to print and it's going to print out beautifully. Um, and that's it. To put it together, I do highly recommend Barely Art Glue. You know I'm not a big glue person, but this one with the precision tip, if you do it about a quarter of an inch down across, it's just enough glue that comes out. You have no mess. You you press it down and you hold it for literally three seconds and it's dry. Same thing with the one down this mark and the one across here. It will be the easiest thing, the easiest thing to glue ever. Um, all right, so that's it, that's Canva. Let me know if you wanna see more, what other things you wanna see, I'm all over it. Um, all different sizes. You want to make sure when you're doing this project, and I've said it before, this is not the time to get, you know, kind of cheap and efficient. You want to give yourself plenty of room. Inside is one serving of a lifesaver gummy because it's photo paper. When you bend it and you're trying to um, like close it with the glue and everything, you can't have a tight fit. If you have a tight fit, it's going to crinkle up. Like you can see with the photo paper when it I, I'm not even gonna bother trying to pop this out and make it straight because it already caused a crease in my paper and the color kind of gets, um, it pops off. So you can see the white coming through. I mean, I think it's fine like this in a, you know, on a 
table full of party favors, it's going to look amazing. I wouldn't worry about the individual flaws. I mean, it's a it's a freaking potato chip bag <laughs> with, with a Hello Kitty on it for crying out loud. But um, the more space you give yourself, the easier it is to put it together, crimp it, and make it look beautiful. All right. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>